Congratulations! You've been assigned to Acolyte at Church this Sunday. We are glad you are part of this ministry opportunity. We hope and pray this video will help as you light the candles in church. We will go through some basic instructions as to what it looks like when it's your turn to help. Please reference this video at any time as a refresher. Questions, please see Nicole, an usher, or one of the pastors. We are all more than willing to help. Schedules for acolyting are sent to your home twice a year. Please mark these important dates on your family calendar. Please show up 15 minutes prior to your scheduled worship service and proceed to the usher room. Come dressed, ready to serve church. Please note type of pants and shoes you are wearing. Please sign in when you arrive. If you are subbing for someone, simply cross out their name and sign your name legibly. Choose a robe that best fits you. It should fall between your knees and your ankles. Don't forget the cross necklace. Do a final mirror check before you head out. Then decide who will light the candles and who will carry the cross and proceed to the back of church. An usher will be there to light your wicks and help with any last minute questions you might have. Please note how to raise and lower the wick as needed. Walk into the worship center slowly. The person bearing the cross should be the first one walking down the aisle. Once you reach the front step, the acolyte should bow, step up, and go around the inside of the communion rail. Candles should be lit from the altar outwards. If your flame goes out before you reach the candles, look to your partner to relight. If your flame goes out between candles, simply go to a previously lit candle. If both flames of you and your partner go out, simply go back to the usher and have them relight your wick. No matter what happens, don't panic. After you have lit all the candles, extinguishing the flame of your wick, pull down on the extinguisher and then immediately push up so the wax does not harden the inside of the lighter. Cross bearer should then enter the altar area and place the cross in its stand. Sometimes the stand base gets moved, so take a look for it while candles are being lit. Cross stand can be sticky. Some tips to help. Place foot on the stand and make sure the cross is vertical and not leaning too much one way or the other. You will then hear a thud when it is placed securely in the stand. Do a final check that it has not twisted in your placement, then return to the front step. All three students should then bow and then exit to the right. Candle lighters can place sticks in the appropriate stand and then take their seat in the front pew. Again, just a quick overview. Walk down the aisle, stop at the front step, bow, light candles from altar outward, cross, then gets placed in its stand. Sit respectfully and participate in the worship service. This means using your hymnal, Bible, worship bulletin, and saying hello to those around you during time of greeting. Don't forget to sign in the red book to mark that you've attended the worship service. Please write legibly. Only at the Saturday evening worship service will you extinguish the candles. Sunday morning candles will remain lit for all services, and you may simply proceed to an usher room to hang up gown at the end of service. If it is Saturday evening during the last hymn, you will stand. Those extinguishing candles will gather needed lighters. Cross bearers will join them as they walk to the front step of the altar. All students should bow towards the altar. Person carrying the cross will retrieve the cross and back to where the acolytes are waiting. Again, place foot on the bottom of the stand as you remove the cross. Acolytes will walk along inside the communion rail and then extinguish candles, this time from the outside toward the altar. The bell pedal of the lighter should be placed on top of each candle for just a few seconds, enough to snuff out the flame. Be patient with this process. Sometimes it takes a little bit for the flame to go out. Once you've extinguished all candles, glance over to your partner and once everything is out, proceed down the steps along the communion rail back to where the crossbearer is standing. Crossbearer will then lead the way walking up the aisle to the back of church. A reminder to walk slowly. This is not a race. Once done, head back to the usher room.
The cross should go back in its stand. Lighters should be hung up properly. Necklaces should also be hung up. Gowns should then be neatly hung on hangers, don't forget the clasp, and placed back into the closet. Thank each other for a job well done, and then make sure to leave the usher room in a timely manner. We thank you for a job well done in your service to the church and its worship services. If you look at the schedule and are unable to serve, it's your responsibility to find a replacement for that date and time. Please make every effort to do so. Trading of spots is allowed, and thanks for being willing to take someone else's spot when they need a sub. Again, don't forget to sign in when you serve in this capacity. Questions don't be afraid to ask, and feel free to watch this video again to fully understand how you will be serving.